All right, well, out we go. Let's find someplace shitty to call our home. Dark Bramble and Interloper, maybe? Ugh. I had one person who came in the other day who basically just wanted to let me know they didn't enjoy this game. And that they enjoyed Outer Worlds more, and I was like, well, their titles and the fact that they involve some space travel is all they have in common. And that was about the end of the conversation. They weren't, like, actively shitting on it, they just said that it didn't hook them. Which I guess is fine enough, I suppose. Yeah. But this is like, for, for me, I was talking to somebody not too far back about how... Oh, really? This is it, huh? I was talking to somebody about how this reminds me of Mist and like Riven. And those were... Games that I... Uh... I feel like I'm about to start over again. Those were games that like kind of triggered me as a like like they turned on the part of me. Those were the games that turned on the gamer in me. Like I was just like, oh, I'm a gamer. Yeah, games like Mist and Riven really did it for me. And so this has got a real, like, mist slash riven in space vibe. What the fuck? You, uh... Don't say. Oh, that's alive! Ah, that's alive! I don't want to talk about it. I, I, I got some real, I got some real Subnautica PTSD right now. And frankly, I, I would appreciate it if you guys would let me grieve in my own way. Thanks. <laughs> appreciate you. Oh, God damn. Yeah, I don't know if y'all knew this or not, but that, that, that was alive. That thing was alive. And mean. Oh, that's it! That's the thing! It's just a probe that circles Timber Hearth. Okay. That scared the shit out of me, man. Sounds like my bed frame is here. God, that scared the shit out of me. I was all proud of myself for threading the needle, chat. I was like, we were sitting here talking about mist and riven and all that jazz. And I won't lie to you, like I was very impressed with myself for threading the needle and making that thing, uh, Making my ship fly fly into that narrow narrow area. Oh jeez. 
Jesus Christ. The autopilot complete. Yeah, well, you know what? That was very nearly what I wanted it to do. idea. So far, this place leaves a little to be desired. Was it really on its way to the sun? <sighs> oh, this is bad. I'm starting to get it. Like, I'm starting to feel... I'm starting to feel like... Oh, God, is it going there, like, fast? Did he fast? I'm starting to feel the whole flight thing. Is it melting? It's melting! Oh, it's melting! Oh, look at this shit. Oh, just miss it. Just miss it. You don't have to go inside the sun. You could just have all this ice melt off and let me look around. Oh, you could just have all this ice burn off and let me look around! Okay. 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 Okay, we're good. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty disappointing. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie. That did not go as I anticipated. I uh, that was not that was not uh Huh. Alright. Hey baby. Hey. You have presents? Oh, are these from uh yeah, these are from Zombie Ron Swanson. And this is what was at the post office. Oh, that's from, I think, Lost Romeo? J.J. Madison? J.J. Madison might have done that. So, yeah, sorry. Zombie Ron Swanson. Uh, sent, oh, the green one's probably a bad idea. <laughs> sent me basting brushes. Really nice basting brushes. Um... So when Zombie Ron Swanson gets here, we have to say thank you. I managed very... Per wow, you have a single gray hair that is like, just like right here. <laughs> there you nope. It, it, it look, it, honest to God, it looks like the kind of runaway that you get with like a costume wig. <laughs> All right, you got it. It's, it's looped in. Um, I landed on a, an asteroid. And it was actually a very difficult landing. I was very proud of myself. So I kind of fumbled around the asteroid. We got close to the sun. And the sun melted all the ice, which created a burst of steam, which launched my ship. And it, it is now four, oh no. four kilometers away. So I guess I'm just exploring this ice and dirt ball until my oxygen runs out. Oh, dear God. Uh, and then, yeah, Grayson had a moment the other day where he dropped his Campbell soup bowl. Uh, and when he dropped it, it exploded because our floor is unforgiving. And the poor, poor lad, we didn't even yell at him. We just convinced him to hold completely still while we cleaned up. And as he was standing there, he just kind of couldn't help but decompress and just started kind of crying, standing in place. And when I picked him up, um, when I picked him up, I asked him if he was okay. And he was just like, nope. And I was like, that, that's all right. 
So I, I believe JJ Madison sent him a replacement, <laughs> a replacement soup bowl, a replacement Campbell soup bowl. So, Aww. so anywho, uh, yeah. So the 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 I have a tracking number for the Girl Scout cookies. I can check that out later. Um, but that it appears that they were not among the things discovered. They were not. That's fine. Well, um, right. I guess I could try to find a decent place to launch off and see if I can make up the seven kilometers between me and my ship, huh? What is that? Oh, I think those are galaxies. Wow, I'm not making up ground, am I? Hmm. I'm still losing ground to my ship. All right, well, that's still the close. This is terrifying the way space is actually terrifying. Nope. My ship is somehow still closer. Fret chat, I'm gonna stick the landing. Nope. Nope. Well, I don't think we're shit. <laughs> All together, lads. Hey, you guys are nailing it. Hmm. Well, that's two very rapid fire deaths in a row. Let's see if we can get one more meaningful run to some place that's not gonna cost us our life. Okay, so we've now, we, d we haven't been to the sixth location and we certainly haven't been everywhere on every planet. But, 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 oh my God, that's mortifying. But short of, short of the sixth location, I believe we've been everywhere now that should be filled in I feel like technically I've been there hollows lantern I don't know what that is uh, rumor mode let's pick one sunless city yep Done. I know how to get there relatively easily now. A 
relatively easy now. And I don't I don't need to try to um outdo myself. I don't I I I don't have to go all the way down to the bottom bottom. I can actually Jesus. Away we go, time's ticking. Are we not interloping? Oh, I, I interloped. I interloped and then interloper being close to the sun caused a massive steam burst as the ice melted and it shot my ship into the great beyond. And I was not on it. So I died. And that was fun, I had a real good time. So now I'm going back to a, uh, investigate the Sunless City. Because we have still more to discover there. Although we found an awful lot the last time we were here. I thought I was exploring under the ice. I was looking around quite a bit. It, it, I didn't go back to my ship until I determined that there was nothing left to do. Oh, there's definitely an under the ice area. Oh shit, now I know that, I guess. Now I know that. What's going on up here again? Is this where the the dead thing a ding was? Yeah, this is the observation area for the dead thing a ding. It refroze while you were pan uh, panicking. I we I I feel like I I earned the right to panic a little bit. My ship was blasted off into space. Let's turn on the lights. Start at the start at the bottom and explore our way up. Alright, so we went this way last time. Now we can go this way. This time. Sometimes the ship just has its own shit to do. Sometimes you can't expect the ship to wait for you to stand around and figure your own mess out. The ship made plans. If you wanted to be a part of them, you should have done a better job of, of being accommodating. Ghost Prince <laughs> ship. Okay, I'm late for work. Bye. Stepping Stone Cave. Dude, chat, I came in here before and I died. But I also think I got down here pretty late. Yeah, there was a shitload of sand by, by the time I was here. Wait, is this... Am I just down where I was now? Oh, boo, Taffy. Is this the same cable? Running the same direction? Or is this new? This feels new. Yo, Tim, congratulations. What'd you get? Uh-oh. Time to go. Yep, okay. Okay. Ste stepping stone, cavern, not a total waste of time, but not, not useful for what we're trying to accomplish.
We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game if you're too big to climb through the angler anglerfish overlook hole. You'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave and then up to the fossil fish cave. Fuck. I tried to get the fossil fish through the stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the angler fish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Target, uh, Taggett can't fit through the anglerfish overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levi now. Who cares? Ilix is still the tallest. Okay. So I gotta throw a light inside the anglerfish's mouth. Nope. There's nothing there. Ooh. What's this? Are we playing the fossil, fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to the stepping stone cave, cave entrance, uh, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Sullenum. If you, uh, it's good you're small enough to climb through the hole uh, at the anglerfish overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Mom and Dad are tall, and so you and I will be tall. Okay. Well, it might be too late for me to go do that now. But I know of it. I I know of it now. Maybe I'll go give it a look. See, do. I got in here last time, and this was so filled up with sand. I was kind of I was kind of boned. Running out of O2. Huh. Oh shit, okay. Well, I have a rough idea of where I am now. I got a feeling that's going to be the way... I've got a feeling that that's going to be the way to the tower that's down here. Got to go feed the fish. Got to go feed the fish. Oh no. Oh, wait. But I want to read. I want to read down there. A-hole. Okay, so I can't, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. I don't know why everyone says the eye is, impor uh, is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is it that good? Dad told me lots of no uh, Nomai died uh, when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? See, but we've actually we we know now that he has come to terms that he he as he grew older realized the eye is neither good the eye is neither good nor bad that's not great yeah we can't go in there okay how I came in, yeah? Mm. Bad, bad, bad. Shit.
Shit. Well, in a second here, we're going to have a much easier way up. I feel like I've read this. I feel like I read that. way around is nope nothing back here I can see easily we are running short of time Gravity cannon. It's covered now, but it's the place I went first, so when I come back down, I've got a. Oh my god. covered now but what I got to do is I got to go in there and launch the launch the lantern and then get on my merry way what the fuck oh the actual gravity cannon what do you know all right well good to know yeah yeah I believe it Yeah, we found ourselves a little secret entrance. Pony, what's going on? This is a game called Outer Wilds. I played through the entire game thinking those rocks were all ghost matter and never tried walking through them. Secret entrance. There you go. Secret entrance. I, I, <coughs> I guess that means I could drop in through there if I remember where that is next time. I feel like that's a secret entrance I could drop in through there uh, instead of tracing my way down next time. Save myself a couple of minutes. Bless that entrance. It was at the, yeah, the, the cannon's taint. It was definitely at the cannon's taint. Dark Bramble. Where's the, oh, the interlopers are a jillion miles away. What is this? Fuck it. Cannon's Taint sounds like an amazing pirate bar from Sea of Thieves. What is this? Is that the white hole? That is the white hole. Shit, there's a part of me that kind of wants to go jump into it. Ah!
Real talk, chat. Landing that without the aid of... Yeah, land landing that without the aid of... My ship at all? Helping me out? Was actually legitimately a little bit tough. Alright, so, you know, for the sake of, of making this a productive trip, South Pole or North Pole? Which one do I want? Blue Pole or, or... Blue Pole or Red Pole? Where Where is the place where I should be? The Red? Okay. Because ultimately I could try both, but this just saves me a trip. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with myself for landing that without any aid from the game. I like that my legs aren't moving. And now we wait. Oh, God. Oh. Oh my god, Escape Pod 2. Have I been to Escape Pod 2? There's an Escape Pod right there, huh? Oh, I bet you it's underneath the water. I don't know. Sun looks like it's getting closer to me. Maybe not. Oh, Jesus. I just watched the sun platform get eaten. That was actually low-key terrifying, if I'm being honest. Ow. 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 God damn it, chat! I was standing in the right spot. I think the sun got closer. I was led to believe that I I was I was led to believe that there was nothing for me to do until the supernova happened. I can't help but feel like I was led astray and that I had a little bit of time to look. I did not mean to jump into the sun for what it's worth. Well, now I got a better idea of the... Yeah, we got... This is a probe that comes through here. Left or right. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit! I am... Tired from all the exhaustion from my son scaring the shit out of me yesterday. Um... Chat, I appreciate you. I, I, I'm I getting you now, Veril. The second time, it's literally essentially flying into the surface of the sun. So you got to get it on that initial pass or you don't get it at all. That makes sense. Um, let me see who's streaming. We'll host somebody up and then I'll go ahead and get out of here. I might, I might just kind of like tread water until I can go to sleep at a reasonable time tonight. Otherwise, tomorrow we'll be back with more Isaac and more Outer Wilds. We'll, we'll obviously play Isaac until... Um, we'll play Isaac until, um, new Isaac drops, and we'll play Outer Wilds till we're finished. 
And at the point in time that we're finished with Outer Wilds, we'll, uh, we'll switch to Bloodborne, which should be pretty simple. From what I can tell, that's a baby game for babies. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna drop you guys on the Brizzy's channel. Wait, what's he playing? Is he still playing Neon Abyss? Ah, fuck it, we'll do it anyway. Taffy got hot, there we go. Taffy got hot. That's fine, we can do that. Sidewinder, appreciate you. Um, he swapped to it after TFT. Good, I don't wanna go watch him play TFT. Fucking auto chess games. Yeah, we'll, we'll be back to this tomorrow. What'd you have for lunch? I had takoyaki and... What was the name of that other one? Hold on, I typed it out. There we go. And that from Bonchon. Which was rice cake... Uh, little, like, little rice sausages? Like, it wasn't meat. It was rice shaped into little tubes. Uh... And fish cakes with a with a chili sauce. It was really good. It, it was uh, as bizarre a combination of flavors and textures as I've had in a real long time. Um, I ate it. I ate it until it was too rich for me to eat anymore. And then I'll probably have the rest of it for dinner. It was very tasty. Uh, it was a. It, it was unusual to me, um, but I enjoyed it very much. So. All right, chat, shit, I'll just sit and hang out with you guys all day if I don't leave, so I'm going to go ahead and leave now. I'll see you guys over at Brizzy's, and I'll catch you either at Amber's channel tonight if she streams uh, or back here tomorrow morning. Thank you guys for a great Minor League Monday. Appreciate you.